everybody, it's Jasmine and Silk. Um, so before we start this video, Silk wants me to do a shout out to the two hedgehogs we saw last night and to that big fluffy cat that um, came at Silk last night. If you guys are ever in the neighbourhood, um, you can stop in, have a drink, um, Silk would love to give you a lick things like that so yeah there you go silk did you did you a little shout out today I'm going to do 10 things I hate about you and it's gonna be about my dear little doggy silk um she's actually my mother's dog but she loves me okay silk I hate that you leave your bloody bones around all over the place because I'm prone to stand on them and then it hurts my feet so that really grinds my gears I hate that when we're out walking you sometimes um, pause on the road and or you might start walking down the road um, I hate that because it's dangerous New Zealand drivers, silk, they don't give a shit they don't give a shit about little cute doggies like you. They don't give a shit about me either. Okay, so it's not just you. I mean, it's just dangerous. I hate that. I hate it when in the morning mum opens the door to say goodbye to me and you come running at me and jump on my bed and lick my face because it's too early for that. It's just way too early. I can't stand it. I hate that you are, you're, usually when I brush you, you're really against it and it makes my job difficult and I hate that. But to be fair, today you were really good when I brushed you because I gave you a little, a little brushy brush for the, for the YouTube show, didn't I? So there could be that could be a change in the wind. Okay. I hate. Oh, I hate that you're always trying to play with the cats because they're not interested. So you just come off as like a little bit of a bully, you know? Like to be fair, you're just a really happy girl. Um, but the cats are not interested, so are not interested. I hate that you follow me around really closely so that sometimes when I'm walking my foot sort of kicks kicks her in the face because she's so close behind me and I don't like that because it makes me feel guilty that I've you know I've hurt the dog a little bit. <sighs> this one's a bit silly because yeah. Um, I hate that you don't get excited about dinner time. Like when I go to feed the animals, Silk just sort of sits on the couch and isn't bothered by it. I'm like, I kind of wish that she got excited about dinner time, but oh well. So yeah, that was a bit of a silly one. I flippin' hate that you've peed on my bed twice. I hate that, Silk. Yeah, she's also peed on my parents' bed once. So, and I just, I just, I don't know. I don't know what that's all about. Because I thought, I thought that it was because I always keep my door shut. So I thought maybe she was worried that if she asked to go out to pee, that she wouldn't be let back in. That's what I thought. But then she peed on my parents' bed and they always have their door open. So that sort of discounts that theory. I... I hate, I hate that, oh I hate that you always like to sleep on my clothes and everybody else's clothes because, well, one of the main reasons is because you have peed on my bed so I'm worried that you're making yourself comfortable to also pee on my clothes. Hasn't happened yet but that is my fear. I know. I hate that when we're going for walks, you, um, 
whenever you see a person or another dog or a cat or something you are trying to catch up to it so you're straining against the lead and then she makes like this choking sound she's like because obviously I'm not going to let her just run up and bounce all over this other dog or cat or person so you know I can't let her run freely but like it sounds like she's choking and it freaks me out a bit like I'm worried that it's bad for your health silk so I, I hate it because it makes me feel really uncomfortable and I'm also worried that it's bad for you <laughs> Silk licking the couch that's classic Silk her other names are Licks Kills and Slick yeah okay so, okay that's the end of the video Silk um why would you have me for sure you guys are probably wondering why I don't hate her licking but like she's such a happy dog and it's just her personality like she'll just be sitting there and she'll like look out into the air like it's just it's her it's her and I love I love them still I'm actually a cat person but I've recently gotten more into dogs because in Stockholm there are so many beautiful dogs and then I came home and my parents had this dog and I was like ooh she, like she's got the personality that makes you feel like I could I could live with a dog forever yeah. okay so I hope everybody enjoyed that it's um, first time I've done something like this before and I hope that you guys like it. So give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, do your thing. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Uh, hey, door!